Hey guys, welcome back to the reactive course. In this video, we are going to do a make API call of JSON server in React Native. So whenever we make API call to localhost 3000 in React Native, it doesn't recognize localhost 3000 as server and we have to do some extra setup for the emulator. So we will see that how to run local server in React Native. And we will also see another method that is called ngrock method. So we will see that all the stuff. So let's start. First, what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna run the JSON server with IP address, and we're gonna at the place of localhost, we're gonna use IP address, and it will make sorted. Okay. Another method which we're gonna try called ngrock that is much more popular. So let's quickly try with the this IP address method. First, what we're gonna do, you can see that uh, this is the last code base which we have work on React Native. Okay, let me do undo which let me quickly show you like what we had done last time so last time we have uh, make a api call with a fake store api and we were able to show some data like this right but in this video uh, we're gonna run our json server so i'm going to open my json server in the bs oh my bad oh my okay i'm going to open this uh json file in my vs code okay now after that uh uh, what i'm gonna do uh i'm going to run this server so how we run this server uh how to run this server okay let me remove this users object so you're gonna have a one products uh of product screen products i'm going to create a products pro ducts okay products key and let's run this server quickly maybe you it could be your uh nodes just server whatever uh, so i'm going to run this server called json server watch db dot json okay so you can see that our server is currently running and if i just copy this url localhost 3000 slash to do and in my if i go in my code okay and replace with this url const api url localhost 3000 slash to do and if i just replace with this uh, url and if i do console if i just do console so you can't see some data it will throw error so again if i'm just reloading the data we can't see any data okay it just uh, throw some error if i uh, want to s if i show you the error quickly uh, let me show you error quickly so you can see that we are getting some type error network request fail okay so how we can run the localhost uh, server in the emulator so first what we have to done, do we have to open a terminal so this is the method called uh, changing the ip address like I ip address method so what we have to type ip config ip ip c o n f i g we have to just copy this uh, uh, this ip bv4 address copy this and at the place of localhost just replace it and again save it so you can see that we are getting the data okay how simple is it right so just at the place of localhost you have to play, place your ip address okay now you can see that the data is coming as a empty object so let's add some data quickly to this uh, object so name will be first product first product and I know I'm doing a lot of typos man <laughs> I don't know but uh, let's add a second product as well uh, second product and yeah now if I reload this server so is it we are getting some data no because the path is to do let me remove uh, add as a products okay now you can see that we are getting first product second product all the data's and if I set the data, so I can set the data. Meanwhile, I don't know what. The, so you can see that we're gonna render two cards because we have just two data. <laughs> okay, let me uncomment this code. So this is the way one way to run the uh, local server in the emulator. The second way is is also much more simpler. That is called ngrock. Okay, so what is ngrock? So ngrock is a way that uh, get your uh, uh, get your local server to live, and you can share your server with any others. Let's suppose you are something running on localhost, and you want to share that with your friend without deploying it. So that thing ngrock will sort it out. First, what you have to do, you have to click on ngrock. 
okay then after that you have to uh, click on downloads so let's see where's the download button okay, i can't see here for now uh, so first you can see that there's options called ngrog download so i just click on download it will open this so if you're using r uh, windows so you have to just use soco whatever you want or if you're using uh, uh, you know uh, you don't want to use install with the chocolatey so you can use like this mm. you have to install the zip file by clicking on download so it will download this zip file after downloading this you have to log into the ng rock okay now after logging to the ng rock uh, let me log into the ng rock quickly and log in with google and after logging to the uh, ng rock you can see that if i extract this file extract here quickly so you can see that this return ng rock.exe file and let me run this file now after that uh, once i do login okay so you can see this uh, this is command called uh, ng rock config add token so you have to just copy this command and paste it here okay so you will get logged into the ng rock and to you know make this server like uh, your local server to live you have to write write ng rock http and whatever the port uh, you want to make it live so currently we are running as on we are running on a 3000 so we want to make 3000 live we want to expose 3000 so we have to type 3000 ng rock http 3000 and hit enter and if i just copy this endpoint okay and if i open in the browser okay so you can see something like this but you have to click on visit site so you can see that's our local server is get deployed somewhere and now you can say it to anywhere anywhere anyone okay without deploying your local server and if i click on slash products we are getting the data so what i have to do i have to copy this url and we can try it out and this works perfectly and in my company uh, i don't do this ip address because ip address usually change so i mostly use uh, ng rock server ng rock okay and now you can see that we are getting the data cool uh, so yeah so let's summarize this like uh, what are the ways to run json server the first uh, way like you can uh, run your json ser local server to the emulator that by running the ip config command you get this server ip before address you have to copy this address and replace at the place of local host the second method is called ng rock method uh, the second method is called ng rock uh, method okay uh, ng rock setup so first we have to install the ng rocks uh, software first what you have to do you have to just do ng rock download and just click on this download page now after when going to the download you, when you click on download uh, you will get this uh you will get this page and you have to click on download as a zip after installing downloading that you have to extract that uh, zip file okay i extract that and you have to open this uh, ex uh this it will open in the terminal so you can see that it's uh opening it open in my terminal i think where is that okay yeah that's the first one it open in the terminal and after that uh you have to get to the login or sign up if you have not created an account once you get login uh, you will get this something like that uh, or you can type ng rock login or you have to just copy this command and paste that to the uh, this uh, paste to the here like you can write ng rock login as well so it will navigate in the browser as well not like that uh, okay basically what you have to do you can do like this also so you have to just copy this code and just paste it here and it will logged in okay now after that after once you get login you have to type ng rock http and whatever uh, local host you want to make, expose it so i want to expose my local host 3000 so you have to just enter it you will get this url okay at the place of local host 3000 okay and once you get this url you can use it whatever place you want so i can use it here as well in the my bs in my react native emulator and i can replace it like this 
and if I show you guys so you can see that we are getting two datas in the console okay the data and the data first product second product uh, and if I do some changes here that's one more thing which I just want to add and we, if you are running a local server on JSON, JSON it will reflect it will reflect that changes as well on the ngrock server and if I make a three product and reload this so you can see that uh, you are getting three products so it reflects that local changes uh, to the server as well so you don't have to think about anything else so yeah that's all about the ng rock and please let me know guys if you have any question or any feedback for me or if you got any error with regarding this please let me know and in the next video what we're gonna do we're gonna do post api request in react native so yeah that's all guys you guys in the next video thank you bye